Caleb Williams is usually the first name brought up when talking about who the first overall pick should be in the 2024 NFL draft, but why can't North Carolina's Drake May be in that discussion? Everyone knows that he's been one of the best quarterbacks in college football over the past couple of years. So what flaws, if any, does he have in his game that could stop him from being one of the first picks in the draft? Today, we're going to be analyzing the strengths and weaknesses of May on tape to see if he's an elite prospect worthy of the first overall pick or if he's a bust that has been overrated in the mainstream thanks to some flashy highlights. Sam Howell had the hearts of UNC fans for a while, but it didn't take long for Drake May to show everybody that he's the best quarterback that the team has had in years. He took over in 2022 and put up dominant numbers in his two seasons as the starter, logging over 9,000 total yards and 78 total touchdowns while throwing just 16 interceptions. Those numbers are among the best in college football, and that naturally led to him getting a lot of hype when he officially declared for the 2024 NFL Draft. But the question is, is he really that good? Is he talented enough to dethrone Caleb Williams for the QB1 spot, or is he destined to follow in the footsteps of Mitchell Trubisky and bust in the NFL? To find out, we'll first need to dive into the positives that he displays on tape. May has one distinct advantage over someone like Caleb Williams that immediately pops out, his size. He stands at six foot four, 229 pounds, and that's better than most of the other quarterbacks in this class. His prototypical build offers a lot of assurances that he's durable, big enough to see over the line of scrimmage, and will be able to break tackles when scrambling or shake off defenders trying to grab him in the pocket. When you actually dive into the tape, it becomes immediately apparent that he has a hell of an arm. He possesses incredible strength behind every throw, which allows him to put a lot of zip on the ball and put it anywhere, including outside the numbers or 50 yards down the field. His arm talent is so good that he can make insane throws off of his back foot or across his body with perfect accuracy. That part of his game reminds me of players like Patrick Mahomes or Justin Herbert. Every throw on the field just simply looks effortless to him. One thing that impressed me about his ball placement is that he already seems to have a good understanding of where to put the ball to optimize the success of his receiver. He's good at fitting passes into tight windows with multiple defenders in the area, and he'll often throw the ball a bit behind his intended receiver to prevent him from running directly into a defender. That's not something that young quarterbacks are usually very good at, so it's encouraging to see that he can already do that at a high level. One other major area of his game is his mobility. He's a very gifted athlete and is one of the best dual threat quarterbacks in all of college football. He's not just a quick guy that can juke out some defenders, but he's also big and uses that size to lower his shoulder and run with power, similar to how someone like Josh Allen or Cam Newton does. Obviously, having mobile quarterbacks has become so much more important in recent years, and May is already well above average in the area. The last thing that's worth bringing up is that he has a ton of experience playing under pressure. North Carolina has had one of the worst offensive lines in college football over the past two seasons, and despite being under constant pressure and always having a guy in his face, he's been able to be productive and has put up very good numbers. Usually quarterbacks who are taken in the top five picks will go to a bad team, so it's good to know that he can already hold up and won't fold when under pressure. So this all sounds very promising. So what's the issue exactly? Why isn't he the consensus top quarterback taken? Why does he sometimes fall out of the top three picks in mock drafts, and does he deserve to? To get answers to those questions, we'll now need to dive into the negative side of his game and see where he could stand to improve. The fact that May is under pressure all the time makes it hard to evaluate whether or not the mistakes he makes are a result of the pressure or an actual problem for him, but I found a few things that he'll need to work on before becoming an elite NFL quarterback. First of all, he tends to stare down his first read too much. He's more than capable of working through multiple reads, but too often he just looked at his primary target the entire time and would miss an open guy because he didn't scan the whole field. That's something NFL coaches hate to see, especially when the offense that they run is more complex. Another semi-big issue that he has is that he tries to play hero ball way too much. There's no doubt that it's a good thing a lot of the time and helps to elevate the team, but it can lead to him making some very bad decisions or ill-advised throws. He tries to force too many passes and can sometimes run himself out of the pocket and right into pressure when he doesn't have to. 
playing like this is what leads young quarterbacks to having turnover issues early on in their career. And he's going to have to start making a lot better decisions if he wants to clean up and refine his game. Beyond that, his accuracy in the short and intermediate portions of the field is inconsistent sometimes. He hits a lot of those throws, obviously, but he misses more than he should and sometimes has some questionable ball placement. It's a bit concerning to see that he's not better at hitting these routine throws, and it raises questions about how good he would be at running a quick hitting offense in the NFL. The physical tools that Drake May possesses are elite. He has a prototypical build for a quarterback, has some insane arm talent, and has great mobility that raises his floor significantly and adds another dimension to his game. There's no denying that he has a super high ceiling and could develop into one of the best quarterbacks in the league, especially if he gets drafted to a team with a competent offensive line. He reminds me a lot of Justin Herbert in the way that he plays. They both have insane physical tools and are undoubtedly very talented, but their supporting casts haven't done either of them any favors in helping them reach their full potential. However, there is some downside with him. He tries to play hero ball too often, and he's relied too much on his elite arm talent to carry him and hasn't developed sound fundamentals or decision making yet. His footwork needs to be improved, and he just needs to get better on the mental side of his game overall before he transitions to running more complex NFL offenses against more advanced NFL defenses. I'm giving him an early first round grade for the draft this year. I wouldn't go as far as to say that he's a top three player, but he's close to it and grades out very close to Caleb Williams for the QB one spot, although I'd still take Williams for the time being. Whatever NFL team drafts him will have their work cut out for them, but there's no denying that he has all the physical tools to become the next Josh Allen or Justin Herbert. I'm excited to see where he lands and how he's able to develop in the next stage of his career. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out the other scouting reports that I've made on this channel. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, goodbye.